Stello, <laughs> and uh, you're attracted to this kind of intensely intelligent filmmaker. Yeah, yeah. L Louis Mel was uh, an extraordinary man, an extraordinary intellect, and um, just a voracious curiosity, and, and, a, and, a, and a real provocateur. He, he just loved to stir the pot with his films. Um, did he want you to do Murphy Brown? Did he think that was, or did he want you to do no, he did. some French underground movie? No, no, he, he, knew, he knew my limitations. I think he was, he was thrilled for me when I got to do Murphy Brown. I mean, it, it grew to a um, greater identity than we ever anticipated, but, uh, but he was thrilled and he knew that's what I would do best. And was that tiring, doing that uh, that many years, or was it just fun? constantly doing having I mean, Dan Quayle say it's a horrible show because it's an unwed mother or a single mother or whatever it was uh, that year was a little uh, overwhelming but um, and and yes it was it was exhausting because I had a, a my daughter was very little at the time and and um, so I didn't get a lot of sleep but it was it was so thrilling I mean the writing was um, the writing was just so brilliant, and, and because it took place in a newsroom, <clears throat> in a bullpen, you had real-life journalists on, and you had people in the news, and you had to be, you know, current about the news, so that it was a much more interesting context for, for someone to do a show. So how do you like Boston Legal? Because I was a big advocate of, of having you be in that show. I, it wasn't my decision, but when somebody told me, that, and I called you up, and somebody right. called me and said... Uh, Candace Bergen in that show, it just seemed fantastic. The right attitude. It, it, I, I, you know, when I got the script, I just, you know, I mean, that they come along so rarely that uh, it was just of such a. David Kelly comes at things in such a wonderful, oblique way, and at the same time, he's so passionate about issues and and such as subversive that you never know that your consciousness is being affected until afterwards and and his humor is is so tremendous and um and i'd watch the show and just thought oh what i would give to work with james spader and bill shatner i mean you know it's such a dream duo and so I, where he takes you and shatner and spader it's hysterical so much fun how many are you doing a season now well, last season I did all of them. So you went from, maybe I'll try a few, yeah. to do them all. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I, I wasn't in, you know, episodes except just as a presence, just to keep a kind of continuity. But, um, but it's, it's a very good job. How often in a lifetime does one actress get two television shows that are so successful and so unique? Usually you get that one show, it has this big run, and then you try another and you never can match the lightning that you got that first time around, and here it's happened. Well, I mean, I, I came onto the show as, as an afterthought, I mean, a mid, mid first season, and I'm, you know, I'm one of the, the ensemble in the show, so it's not like Murphy Brown, but I never even tried to do anything after Murphy Brown. I, I knew that the odds were um, astronomical of never finding it, and, and frankly, I was very glad to get my life back, if you know what I mean. Uh, yes, I totally, I have, after this discussion, I do not have to go back to an office and make 22 phone calls with three barns that are burning and, and all that. Well, I obviously, from starting over and before and all the stuff you're doing now and a uh, intellectual fan of your father and, and uh, Charlie McCarthy, I just am so happy that you came and were able to, to be on this show. And, Michael, I'm so glad you're doing it. It's really fun, isn't it? It is fun. The, the fun part is talking to the person. The arrangements and, and how it all gets done is not as much fun. That's business. But you actually get to sit down and ask the questions that you're given license to ask. That you and the homework is fun. Oh, I love the homework. Yeah. I love reading about it. And if you went out to dinner, you'd never ask these questions. No. You'd slap me. No. But here I'm supposed to ask yep. some of these questions. So it's, it's fun to do. Yeah. Thank you very much. A, a great pleasure. Thank you.